Hey guys, welcome to my uh, third video in my Django tutorial series. So uh, I hope you've been following along and today we're going to start creating our first Django project. Okay, let's get down to it. Uh, I'm going to use my Linux machine, but you can follow along uh, on any distro of Linux and also Windows if you are a Windows user. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to head on, uh, head over to our terminal. I'm going to use the default terminal in uh, Ubuntu. Just search for terminal. I'm just going to use the simple one, the plain terminal. And if you are on Windows, you can use, um, just like uh, I used in the first video, you can use CMD. That's no problem. You can follow along with the commands on CMD as well. Okay, so um, I'm now heading to the directory where I um, created the Django Girls folder where I have everything I need. So uh, if you remember from the last video, I created the folder Django Girls where I have the virtual environment on my desktop. So I'm going to my desktop using the command cd, change directory. You can do that on Windows as well. So I'll type in cd desktop and Django Girls. Okay. Just to check, I'm going to um, use the command ls to list all the folders and files. So as you can see, I have my requirements text and my uh, virtual environment. As I um, mentioned before, make sure to activate the virtual environment you're going to use. We use this command in Linux, source, the name of the virtual environment, which is my VMV, bin, and activate. In Windows, it's a little bit different. You don't need the source, and you type in um, scripts instead of a bin. But for that, you check my first video to see how you can uh, activate and deactivate the virtual environment on Windows. OK, so now I am inside the virtual environment. And we're going to create now the first project. For that, we're going to use the Django-admin uh, command line tool that Django offers. It makes that uh, it makes it incredibly easy to start create like a, a skeleton of the project with all the necessary files and folders and the necessary configurations. So just type in Django-admin start project. And now we are going to name um, our project. I'm just going to name it my site. Just do the same so you can follow along. Uh, much, much easier if you have the same uh, name as me. And I'm going to specify where I want to create my project. So I'm just going to type uh, just a simple dot, which, me, which represents the current directory. OK, on Windows, uh, it should be the same command. Just hit Enter. And now, it, as you can see, since the prompt is returned, the command finished what it does. And uh, you can type in ls again. And you can see that it has created all this other stuff. Manage.py, uh, my site, my VMV was already there. And the requirements, the text was already there. Now, to open the project, I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code, which we, we installed in our first video. Uh, here is a neat trick to use Visual Studio Code. Just type in code dash, which means open the current directory with Visual Studio Code, and it will open the project. Okay, hit enter, and here it is. Okay, um, you can see that I have I have here everything that I have um, built so far or what the Django-admin built for me. Just going to zoom this a little bit so it's more readable for you. Okay. Okay, so now, um, as you can see from the structure here, this is the structure of a Django project. You have a manage.py, which has, uh, which is a command line utility, and you also have the my site, which is the uh, first, the main Django app, which will have all the configurations, the URLs, and everything. Don't worry, we will explain um, everything we need in the next videos. So, 
most of the configurations are in the settings file. Just take a look here. And you can see that we have a lot of stuff that Django admin already did for us. It has all the uh, configurations. We, ha we can change um, some stuff in the settings file. We can go, for example, change the time zone. Um, it is currently set at UTC, but I'm going to change it to my time zone. You can check on Google or on Wikipedia which is your own time zone and how it is um, uh, actually uh, named. I'm going to put the link of the Django Girls tutorial in the description so you can see how uh, you can check that as well. So I'm going to put here, instead of the UTC, I'm just going to put Europe Berlin, since that is my, my current time zone. Okay. Um, you have to hit Control S, or you can uh, use this neat command in uh, Visual Studio Code. You can activate auto save. I, I strongly rec recommend you do this. So anytime you make a change in the project, it will be auto saved, and you don't have to type Control S. Yeah, that is a really uh, a lifesaver. So make sure to click auto save here. Okay. Now I change the time zone. Um, you can do a lot of configurations here, but I would suggest that you keep everything as is at the moment. Um, you can, some uh, very important configurations I can, I can explain right now. So the debug, uh, the debug um, variable it should stay true only when you are uh, only for projects which are in the development phase. If you go to production, always make sure to uh, put this false. This is one of the uh, main rookie mistakes from all Django developers. When they put, if you put uh, a Django app into production live and you leave the debug true, then even people who are not developers of the site can see debug information about your web app and that is really a big problem because hackers can uh, understand more about the structure of your site and it will be easier for them to uh, break into your site. Okay, so um, I think uh, we will look into the settings more later but for now the only change I wanted to do is the time zone. You can also change the language code here but I'm just going to leave it uh, English, US English, because that's more suitable for me. But you feel free to change this one as well. Okay, as for the database configuration, we will be using the SQLite 3 database. Uh, it's much easier to use and it fits in well with Python and Django. As you can see, it is already the default configuration with the SQLite database, so um, we are going to use this type, this uh, SQL database for our project. SQLite is a really a simple and a database which is saved all in one file, so it will be easy to manage for small projects. For bigger projects, there are many, many other choices. PostgreSQL or MySQL are very, very popular with the Django web framework. But that is for another time. Okay, so now you have a basic idea of the settings. Um, as always, just make sure that you have been, follow, been following along all the commands and you are in the right folder and in the uh, right uh, in the right folder in the right structure of the project. Okay, so now we are going to check something really, really cool from our terminal, we are going to run our project. So Django, we already have a, a web app which Django has created and we can actually run it. So to run it, we just type in the command python manage.py run server. If you remember, I mentioned that manage.py this script here does, it's like a utility for all the administrative tasks, so it can also run the site for us. Okay, just type in this one. Don't worry about uh, this error message here. 
we will take care of that later but as you can see we already have um, the site running and it is on our local host at port 8000 you can just click here or you can go to the you can click on the link or you can go to your browser and type in localhost 8000 here if you see this rocket launching here then uh, good job you've already created your first Django project um, and now we are ready to to modify this and add stuff as we want but at the moment we basically have a Django project running and as you can see it's incredibly easy to get started with Django and the command line utilities are, are really really good okay so um, let's get back to our terminal to stop the server running just type in control C okay I'm just going to clear the screen here um, so again if you want to run the project again you just type in python manage.py run server and control C to stop it uh, that's it for this video we can just deactivate the virtual environment and as you can see now I'm out of it I don't have the my VMV in parentheses to the left okay so this was just uh, a simple video just to see how easy it is to create uh, a project with Django and in the next one we will continue to uh, fill up that skeleton that nice skeleton of the project that Django admin created for us we're going to fill it up with our custom uh, scripts okay that's it from me um, for this video guys so make sure to uh, click on subscribe like this video if you found this helpful uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you in the next one bye bye